what cool trick that was? That was a pop shove it. Just, just gonna teach you how to do a pop shove. Now, with a pop shove it. Mm. There's lots of different ways where you can put your feet. You don't necessarily have to have your feet in one different position as long as your back foot is on the back of the board and your front foot is a further is in front of the back faults. So I personally have my feet a bit angled, my front foot a bit angled, so it's familiar like a kickflip sort of thing. Getting used to that. Now what you want to do with a uh, the pop chub it is you want to push down as hard as you can on the back, but gradually move your back foot back a bit. So you sort of drag that back, which will send the board into a 180 spin. And what you do with your front foot is you want to just flip that, just lift that up. Just let that, just let that happen. Just let that happen naturally. With the catch, you want to to get good catch, you want to pop hard and just bring, bring your legs up a lot. Just that sort of thing. Jump to the side. And, and, and then what you want to do is, you want to, as you're jumping up in the air, you want to jump a bit to the side of, in front of you. Like, you want to jump forward as the board, when you're learning, the board's Why? gonna... Why? It's a pain. <laughs> the board's gonna... Um, this car coming. When you're practicing skateboarding, you never want to get hit by a car. That's bad. Now, when you jump up, your board's gonna come to the side a lot, like gonna come over there a lot. So you want to jump and follow with it. But all pop shovings are different. Like everyone does things differently. Your pop shove could go backwards. You're just weird. You want to jump where the board goes, so you want to land on it. Once you've got the, foot, the whole spin right, once you got the spin right, you want to work on your catch. Your feet are going to be above the board. You want to bring your front foot over and catch the board with a massive front foot tweaked out to the max. Catch, just sort of thing. Once you do all these steps, you're on your way to being a pop it master. Yeah. When you're a beginner, you want to... Commitment is a big issue. You got to commit like you're getting married sort of thing. You got to commit. Yeah. Get all out of my grills. Bitch. Now, with the whole commitment thing, you just got to learn... You got to learn to land on the board, jump to the side. It's a big thing. You got to You gotta be prepared for that. You got to commit. Now, you could be afraid that you're going to hit your shins on your ball, but it's going to commit. A lot of things to help you with commitment is jumping out scare your gaps. That'll help you commit. And doing some sweet ass high caveman. That'll help you commit. Doing stuff like that. And eventually you can string it on all my stuff that I've told you. String all the Pop shovels. Really hard. But sometimes you don't land them and that's just even like a pro like me. You can't get them every time. You can't expect that on the Helping with commitment, you can do the one foot mount, board mount, one foot pop shove at board mount. Just stay back, this could get dangerous. Just get away for a second, all right? You want to learn to use your back foot like the pop shove at motion sort of thing, all right? And to do the one foot pop shove at board mount, just help you with commitment. You want to flip the board with your back foot and then jump. At the same time off your front foot, you land on the board like <laughs> that. Right. That'll help you with commitment. See that? Yeah. <laughs> Once you've mastered the pop shot, you can string down into a whole lot of different... So string it out into whole different variations of the pop shot. Like you could do the... The fakey pop chubby. Or this is even a completely different thing. I might make a trick tip later, but the 
Front side, shove it. Once you got that pop job, you got this. You can do all this soup. All the super stuff, all the super duper stuff. Get into some um, 180 flips. Now, once you got the pup shove it, as I was saying before, you need some 180 flips, like the very old kick flip. That was a burial flip. Now, that is a variation of the pop shove it and the kick flip. A lot of people find them just insulting to the eye because they're just so dis disgusting, that flip. A lot of people say they're homosexual, but they're, they're not. I like it. I like it because I can do it. I can do it pretty well. See, I can probably get that twice in a row because this, this, you can see that this camera is not paused. It's not pausing or anything. See that? Twice in a row. And that was pretty much bolts too. Yeah! You just learnt the burial flip. Up, pop shove it. Yeah. Once you learnt that pop shove, you can take it down some massive stair gaps. 